Hi, it's Caroline here from Husqvarna Viking UK. Thank you for joining me in this video where we will be unboxing our brand new Husqvarna Viking Amber Air S600 overlock and cover stitch machine. If you want to know more about this machine after watching this, then don't forget to hit subscribe so that you never miss a video. There will be more videos to come. As I said, this is our newest addition to the lineup, the Amber Air S600. It's our top of the line overlock and cover stitch machine. And what makes it so special is it's an air threading overlock and cover stitch machine. One touch electronic air threading, I should add. So it's really easy to thread up, but also switch from overlock to cover stitch, which I know some people get a little bit worried about. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at what comes in the box when you get the machine home and unpack it for the very first time and a quick overview at some of those features. Okay, so when you open up your Amber Air S600, this is what you're greeted with. You've got polystyrene full of all your included accessories and bits and pieces. This is quite a big sort of polystyrene section. You have to lift this out in order to get your machine out. And everything fits in the top, so it's really nice, um, nicely packaged. So there's lots of things that are included. First of all, you will find your extension table. You just take it out of the plastic. Now, it's really, really great that the extension table is included. It gives you this extra workspace here. If you're working with bigger projects, if you've got a lot of fabric, it really helps take the weight. The legs are really easy. Flip it over. You just pull that out. And these feet are adjustable as well, so you can make sure that it's all nice and level depending on what work surfaces you're working on. Make sure it's nice and level with your machine. And along here you will see a row of holes. That is to help you with circular sewing. So there'll be a little drawing pin included, which we will find a little bit later. Um, and you pop your pin through your fabric, through your hole, depending on how big your sort of curve or circle is, and it helps you guide the fabric round. So that's a really nice, useful, additional uh, feature that's included on, on the extension table. Pop that to one side. The next thing I'm going to take out is the thread stand. So this comes in two sections. As you can see, um, we've got the, the spools where you actually put your thread on. And then you've got your telescopic stand which just slots into that and turn that so it's sort of married up. So you've got two on one side, three on the other. And that pulls up when you're actually threading the machine and using it. And then here you've got two little clips and that slots into the back of the machine, which again, once I've got the machine out, I will show you how that attaches on. So that's really easy just to pop together. We've also got this now this may look a little bit strange to some people if they've not seen one before and this is a knee lift so this attaches into the front of the machine and you can use this with your knee to lift and lower the presser foot so it's really great if you need to be hands-free for whatever reason you um sort of push your knee against it and as soon as you release, it lowers the presser foot. So a really nice added accessory with the Amber Air S600. And again, we can demonstrate how that works fully. So we've got the foot control, very important. You can't do much without the foot control and a separate main lead. So there is two, um, two sockets in the side of the machine, one for your plug and one for your foot control. Let's just move those out to one side. Then you can see we've got lots of different things sort of in these sections here. So let's take this one out. This is the cover stitch plate. So when you switch to cover stitch, you will need to switch the front plate to this one. As you can see, it's nice and flat and it's actually labeled, get it the right way around, B. 
So the two plates are labelled A and B. A is what is on the machine when you unbox it and B is what you need to switch to when you're doing cover stitch. We have got cones. So these are if you're using the really big cones of thread on the back of your overlocker. These sit on top of your uh, spool stand and that helps stop the, the cone of thread rattling around as you're sewing. So you've got five of those, one for each stand if you're using five cones of thread. And they come in their own separate plastic bag. And here we've got plastic dust cover so you can pop that over the top of your machine when not in use to help keep it dust free. And then lastly is your waste tray which slots on front of the machine and in there is your box of accessories. So it's quite nice that that fits in there when I'm not using the machine and this is sort of slotted on the machine I always put my box in there so I know exactly where it is. So I'm just going to quickly open that now. So you've got a spare pack of needles. I'm already missing one as you can see I've already used them. And we've got, this is the drawing pin that goes into the holes on the extension table. So it's got a nice safety stopper on as well, so you don't uh, prick yourself with the, the sharp end. These, again, these go on the thread stand if you're using um, just sort of standard thread, reels of thread, not the big cones. That can help support the thread and stop them um, sort of rattling around as well. We've got a spare blade, another one of those, thread nets, these are great if you've got a sewing machine then you're probably used to seeing these. If you're using a tricky type of thread, I suppose like a metallic thread, something that's coming off the reel really quickly and springy, that slots on over the reel of thread to help control it as it feeds off. This is a threading wire. Now this is great for not only cleaning out the loopers of the Amber Air S600, you can also use it for more decorative threads. So you can get a thicker sort of style of overlock thread. Madeira do the Decora range for example, which you can't use the air threading system for. So there is a small loop in one end of this threader so you use the metal wire instead of pushing the air button. Little thing of oil to help keep it nice and running well. Screwdriver. There are certain attachments um, that you can buy additional that you may need that sort of style screwdriver for. You've then got the Allen key and that is to change the needles with. So the needles are actually changed with an Allen key got a small brush to help keep it clean and a needle threader as well so you can um, if you need a little bit of extra help you've got a needle threader in that box as well but they all fit into so I'm just going to pop those all back so I don't lose any of them and then we're going to get the machine out on the bench and have a look at popping some of these um, different bits on that we've looked at. So I've got the Hesperna Viking Amber Air S600 out of the box. I'm just looking at the back angle to start with, um, just so I can show you how this goes on. So really easy, as I said, you've got two clips here and two slots on the back of the machine. So you're going to marry those up, pull it over to one side and that's locked into place and you pull the mast up all the way to the top and there we are, as easy as that. And I've got the waist tray, that slots onto the front there. What I love about this is you don't have to have the machine right at the front of the table. Um, some overlockers have like a thread net which hangs down. Um, this sits flat so you can have the machine anywhere you want on the table um, depending on how it suits you and it will still catch all the bits. So, okay, you will then also see this sort of hole 
in the base of the machine, this is where the knee left slots into. So that slots into there. And you do have to have the machines sort of quite close to the edge of the table when you're using the knee lift. Okay, and that slots into there like so. I've just come a little bit closer while I've got the knee lift attached, just to show you how it works. So my presser foot is currently down. If you want to use your knee lift to lift the presser foot, you simply push your knee against it and you can hear the machine lifting up the presser foot. And when you're ready to release, you simply let go with your knee and it comes back down. So that's how easy it is to use your knee lift to lift and lower your back. This here comes off for you to use it as a free arm if you need to, if you're doing sleeves, anything that, like that. That's also then where the extension table slots into place as well. Like so. So really easy to switch between the two. Okay, that just clicks in and off. And then this here is where you take the different plates off, depending on what you're doing overlocking or cover stitch okay so that is the a plate which comes on the machine and if you're switching to cover stitch just open the door and that slots into place instead So again, if we just open up the cover and have a look in here, you will see that there's a really handy storage where your tweezers and stylus are. So you can use this for the touch screen if you need to. And your tweezers as well are all really important tool with any overlocker or cover stitch machine. And they are stored in the front there. So you can leave them in there or you can pop them in your accessory box, whichever you prefer. And if I now just turn the machine around, this is where you can see are the sockets for the mains lead and the foot control. So they both slot in like so. Let's just reach that around for action pictures. And then your on off switch is on the side there as well. So I'm going to just flick the machine on. Now, it might come up with a message, I'm just going to twist that over so you can see it. Please raise the presser foot so the machine can calibrate, basically, because it's all automatic tensions. The machine and tensions need to calibrate, and if your presser foot is down, it won't allow you to do that. To lift the presser foot on the Amber Air S600, it's actually on the side of the machine. So you may be used to having it behind the... The needles here they've moved it now into the side of the machine which I find a lot easier to use so you just lift up your presser foot and you can hear it do all its things and then up pops this amazing colour touch screen so I'm going to open up the front to get the stylus out and I'm just going to do a quick overview of what is on the screen here. This drop down menu is where you find all the different stitches that are built into the Amber Air S600. So I've come in nice and close. This, as I said, is the drop down menu that lists all the different stitch options um, that are built into the Amber Air S600. If I just scroll down, you can see there are actually 26 different stitch techniques built in. 
So that's just down to how you thread and changing settings, um, changing needle positions, give you all these options. And of course, because it is an overlocking cover stitch, you've got the cover stitch stitches built in as well. And if you decide on whatever stitch you want to do, say you want to do a rolled hem, for example, you select that stitch and it will come up with a diagram, what colour thread paths to take, which correspond to the dots on the, on the machine. And the first information comes up with an overview of anything that you need to change. And these are all explained in the instruction book. Um, so until you get used to what each bit means, you can still refer to your instruction book. And then number two, it just gives you a description of what that stitch is for. And you can cross that off and it goes back to your main home screen. If you want to get that information up again, you've got the I button here. You simply hit that and that comes back up. What else we've got on the screen is we've got where to put your needle, where to have your cutting blade width, um, your sewing advisor. Now I'm just going to quickly go through this. We have gonna we are going to do more detailed instructions on how to use the Amber Air S600. But this is a sewing advisor which has got different options of fabric. So you select um, the nearest to what you're using. So these first three are woven light, medium, heavy, and then we've got stretch, light, medium, heavy, and that helps set up the tensions um, before you start sewing. You've got a speed control, so you can slow the machine down if you want to, and you've got your differential feed on the screen and your stitch length on the screen as well. So rather than having different dials on the side of the machine, it's all touch screen now. And lastly, this one here is your tensions. So as much as they're automatic, you can still manually change them if you need to, depending on what you're doing. So when it comes to threading up the Amber Air S600, you do need to have your cover open for threading up both your loopers and your needles. The, um, the cover hides away all those thread paths, so you need to leave that open whilst you're threading up and you'll see here that we've got a nice big push button and that is what you use to thread the loopers. As we've mentioned this is an air threading overlock and cover stitch machine and it's an electronic one touch air threading so you thread at the start of the threading path depending on which one you're, you're um, doing. You just poke a small amount of thread through the end and you just and you can hear that whoosh going through, that will push the thread all the way through. It means that if you're doing a five thread overlock, for example, and you're using all three loopers, you can thread them all in one go. Also in here, we've got a couple of different levers. This is for threading up. So before you thread up, and you will forget to do this a few times when you first get your machine, trust me because I have, you flip this over to threading, and then you turn your hand wheel until it locks into place. And that means that all these are now locked into place so that the thread can all go through in one movement. And what's nice is that it won't actually allow you to close that door if you haven't switched that back over. So once you finish threading, just flip that back over and you can thread the door, um, shut the door. And this lever here is an A and a B. You may remember we talked about A and B on the plates, depending on whether you're doing overlock or cover stitch. This is the same. So if you are doing a cover stitch, you simply move that lever over to the B setting. And one thing which I haven't mentioned yet, it does, of course, come with a physical instruction book as well. That, that will be in the box when you open it. So let's just have a look at it in a little bit more detail. You can see if I just scroll down the instruction book, you've got your full table of contents and some great diagrams to go along with the text. So you've got your machine overview to start with, all the different parts of the machine are clearly labelled and then if we scroll down to actually starting to use the machine you can see that on each page there are 
clear images as well as the text description to go with it. So that instruction book does of course come in the box as well. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments or questions, please do pop them down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and look out for more where we go into more detail how to use the Amber Air S600.